Ladies and f I'm kidding, I'm kidding. F gentlemen, <laughs> I'm back, baby. Dilf Daddy is back with some more cooking because you guys like cooking and because I, well, I need to eat. It just seems practical. I'm a big practicality guy, what can I say? Today's meals <laughs> is very complex, okay? Listen, first of all, it's gonna sound complex, okay? Hear me out. I'm making a lemon garlic salmon and asparagus. Okay, it didn't sound fancy, and it's actually less fancy than it sounds. I'm gonna entertain you guys, and I'm gonna be bored because it's gonna be sitting there, so let's f get going. In here, salmon. Sit out, rest. Maybe they might come alive again. You never know. They've been refrigerated for a while. Maybe we preserved the salmon. I don't know. Step one, cutting board. We don't need a big one. Garlic, that's it. I should actually probably start cooking other things. Oh, shit, all pens. Yeah, I do. Holy shit, this is loose. I need to tighten this. Pending. I swear to God, I'm gonna tighten it with this. It's working. I don't know what this is, to be honest. Between all of us, I don't know what this is. How did that happen, by the way? Battle scars, I guess? Because I'm such a chef. I got the pan for the meat. Asparagus needs f pan. Aha! Can I shove them in this? I don't want to do dishes. Dishes suck. The bigger the dishes, the sh the dishes. These battle scars. I have a way better idea. So people told me to put this on a towel so it doesn't slide. So watch this. Speaking of a towel, dribble, dribbles. I need dribbles, dribbles. Zoom, zoom. I'm like painting. You guys see this shit? painting? Watch this. Zoom. This should work theoretically. Okay, you stay there. Pop this down. You push it. You move it. It gets nice and sticky. That wasn't terrible. It wasn't good. It wasn't terrible. Yeah, we'll heat this pan up already, because I'm gonna throw this on right now. We are wasting no time here today. Listen, I'm a fucking cooking channel, dude. I'm over it. I'm over it. People should know this by now. This is what we do. This is what we live for. All these big time chefs, they be cooking the craziest shit, bro. You don't need to do that. Throw a couple salmones in a pan. Crack open some garlic, eh? It's how you pronounce garlic in Canada. Garlic, eh? I'm also eating healthy, so it's tough to make it like a fancy meal, you know what I mean? That is not enough garlic. I need like pounds of garlic. So I got this recipe, if you guys were wondering. Oh, you guys weren't? Okay. Don't worry about where I got it from then. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway, because I want to, and it's my channel, and you chose to be here. <laughs> Back when I used to live in the western lake of the village, you guys remember that? Remember I told you guys that I used to live there? But we lied about where we lived because I'm a fibber, big time fibber. There's this place there called Stonefire Grill. Stonefire, Stonefire Grill. Have you ever been to Stonefire? Because I think they are in LA and some other places. Holy sh! They had the best ever salmon and tri-tip and everything else. I miss that restaurant so much. Why am I so white? I am not this white in person. I've been putting in work by the pool. This is ridiculous. Should I feed my dog first or should we eat together? All right, we're gonna eat together, me and you, as a unit, because that's what we do. We're a family. He's looking at me like, what the f I just, I'm hungry, dude, don't feed me. And Stonefire had the best lemon garlic salmon. And so I've tried to make it before. And it was great, of course, because I made it. But it wasn't there, you know what I mean? So I was at Sprouts. You know, I'm so healthy now, I'm shopping at Sprouts. So, what the f***? Which is actually a really underrated store. Or is it overrated? And I was one of the people that was underrated. Sprouts is great. And I was shopping at Sprouts. They already had a, ow, a lemon citrus salmon. And it was the same price as the normal salmon for the same amount. And it was essentially the same salmon. The moral of the story is they lemoned my salmon for me. And I'm lazy. So when I realized I could just buy that salmon, throw some garlic in that and we might be able to, to replicate something that we haven't been able to replicate. Peeling garlic, one of my least favorite things in the world. I imagine, for those who are going to hell, hopefully none of you guys, I'm just kidding, I don't believe in hell, you guys know that. But whatever, let's just hypothetically say it does exist. You are gonna get handed an entire bathtub of garlic to peel. First thing, that's your first task in hell. I'm gonna use the stickiness against it itself. I'm gonna use its trait against it. Oh my god, I peeled that perfectly because I'm so sticky. I'm sticking. I'm sorry, this is getting gross. Parkour. By the way, anytime you do an activity, it is considered parkour. Also, if you haven't seen New Girl, I don't know, just keep scrolling <laughs> on YouTube or something. It's the best show in the world, that's a fact. You can't even argue it, by the way. If you think you have a good TV show that's funny, you don't, because New Girl's funnier. And if you've only seen five episodes of New Girl, or three episodes of New Girl, or like the first episode, don't even waste your finger strength to type a comment, okay? Oh, sh I dropped them. Good thing my finger is stickier than, that's gonna be a bad example if I say something. So guys, I did a thing at the store today, and I wanna tell you about the thing, because I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Once upon a time, I was a cold brew. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna hurt you, don't worry about it. 
I was a cold brew drinker. Obviously, I used to get the classic Starbucks salted caramel cream cold brew over COVID like every day. This is pre-espresso machine Jordan. This is when I was a sad, sad boy. <laughs> I'm kidding. So I do enjoy cold brew kind of. Depends. Now, I was at the store today and every once in a while, like today, I ran out of beans and I just didn't feel like buying new beans because lately what I'll do is I'll go to like my local coffee shop and I'll buy beans until my bean beans. <laughs> if you guys follow me on social media, you know what I'm talking about. All right. This morning, I didn't want to get new beans, so it's the first time I actually went out and went to a coffee shop and got coffee. And I got good coffee, don't get me wrong. But I was in the store today and I saw cold brew. And I always want to just have cold brew at home, to have it on deck, and it's, sometimes it's satisfying to like just look at it, you know what I mean? And so I bought it. And my theory is, what I'm going to try to do is combine, because my powder won't go into anything cold. It won't dissipate. So I'm going to heat up milk. I'm going to mix it in the milk. Let the milk cool for a little bit. Then I'm going to pour the milk into the cold brew. The cold brew is cold already without ice, so we're not melting anything. So the cold brew is going to cool down the hot milk with my sweetener. So I'm going to be able to use my sweetener in a cold brew. Awesome. So just be ready on my story, okay? I'm supposed to put butter in here, and the butter's gonna burn in five seconds. So we're gonna take you off a little. You need some water. I need to cut some asparagus. I'd say if I were you, get rid of like 80% of the asparagus because about 80% of it sucks. Like this stuff, you just don't want in your mouth. It's gonna taste like you're eating a spider web. Taste was the wrong word. The consistency is gonna be like a spider web. Well, the water kind of cooled the pan. Then you take your asparagus, you toss it in the pan with the water. Pretty simple. Make sure you spread those bitties out. Are you guys taking notes? This is important. You put a little. You just let it sit there for like 10 some minutes. I don't know. I mean, a lot of fucking butter. That is a pretty good chunk of butter. Like, I don't want to like. It's good. We cooled the pan out. Butter is like the main ingredient when you're doing like a butter garlic. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, butter is unhealthy. The good news is I'm literally eating salmon and asparagus for dinner. So anyone that thinks it's unhealthy, lick my butt. <laughs> don't actually do that, that's gross. If you've ever made crepes before on like a home pan, you don't have a crepe maker, you always have to slide the butter around. It's a pretty fun task. Only French people would know that. I could literally go for coffee right now. Does that make me an addict? I can't drink it before bed. I wish I was one of those Italians that drink espresso at like not. Do Italians go to bed late? They have to. Maybe they're immune to espresso. I just can't imagine going to bed after a shot of espresso. I have literally have a double shot of espresso in the morning and I'm ready to go for the year. There's skin on these and like I'm all about skin. I actually think it tastes pretty good but it falls off and then it pisses me off. Can you pull skin off the salmon? I don't want to ruin the salmon. You know what I mean? I'm gonna leave it on. I'm gonna leave it on. I thought about it. Always go skin down first. Why? I don't know. A video told me that one day and so I listened to it and you should too because it worked I guess. Okay. Yep. Cool. Skin down. Skin down. Give it a nice little push. Oh, it was a lemon herb salmon that I- Oh! I'm too sexy for this herb. That's not what I meant to say. We want this to be hot as sh so. This needs to be way hotter. Go hot. These things need to like, they need to slide around a little bit. I'm also gonna add seasoning to these because they failed to season. That's a joke. I don't like skin on salmon for this reason. What happens is, is you give the skin a nice crisp, right? And you need a good crisp on some salmon, right? You need a nice little coat. But then you get this beautiful crisp and it kind of like blue balls you. <laughs> Because a lot of the times, once you heat that skin up, it falls off. And then underneath is this just sadly non-crisp part of the salmon. So essentially that skin is just protecting one of the sides of the salmon from becoming beautiful, and then it falls off and it doesn't stay on. Okay, we're not gonna cut this that fine because we want big old nice garlic chunkies. You know what I mean? This is like not even an impressive meal. This takes two seconds. I'm literally cutting garlic and I cut asses off of asparagus. That's literally it. But now maybe some of you guys out there would appreciate this meal, so I don't know. It's gonna be good, I'll tell you guys that much. Oh, the asparagus guy? <laughs> That is plural for asparagus, I swear. I'm not trying to downplay this meal. I'm really not. We're almost literally done with this. That's it. That's all we need. Give this a nice little swirl around. Oh my god. It's been a while since I've had salmon. Like, some of my favorite foods in the world. I feel like we should stop talking about food. Food's kind of boring. I need to season these things. One thing they don't have is a sh load of garlic. We need a lot of garlic on these things. Garlic that sh up. Now I need to pepper these things. Garlic, pepper, I know I said I was gonna talk about food, but it's right here, how can I not? Lots of it. Now I need to flip them. The question is, I don't have anything to flip them with. So I'm gonna stab them with a fork, because that's the best, but sometimes salmon falls apart when we do that. Oh my, if you could see the skin on that little thing. Oh my, who let me cook like this, bro? Who, tell me. Someone out in the crowd. I am a wizard. You know what we need to do these guys? We need to face these 
at some point. How much longer do you need to do that? I'd say a good little, I'm gonna turn the fire down. I actually just thought about it. I'm gonna take them out, let them cool, and then I'm gonna make the sauce after because I don't wanna put that in the brown sauce. It just looks like really brown. So I've come to the conclusion I need a couch. So the ping pong table felt good, right? I was a fresh bachelor. You know, I felt confident in my bachelor life, but now, this is really hot. I'm realizing that I, I feel like I live in a museum still, and I miss having a couch, and a rug, and a TV, and a, essentially a living room. I don't really know how much I can live if I don't have a living room, you know what I mean? Look at that, we're gonna grow the sides of it too. The more crispy you can make your salmon, always the better. Crispier the salmon, better the salmon. It's a simple equation. Crispier the salmon, equal sign, Better the salmon. Remember that. If you forget it, well, your salmon's gonna suck. Put them back. Holy sh! I spilled everywhere. Damn it! I don't have paper towel. Oh, this is a mess. This is a party. But I spilled everywhere. Don't be alarmed. I just spilled asparagus. Asparagus. Oil. A lot of it. Get them all. Oh yeah. Olive oil. It's good for the soul, ladies and gentlemen. Getting olive oil everywhere. Oh sh! That exploded. All right, these things have to be done here soon. Oh, base. Guys, I swear I don't do cocaine. I know I, I sound like I do, but I don't. Okay, I made this a little hot. The liquids, just everything's very warm. We don't want to overcook the salmon either. That would be detrimental to the salmon. Those are crispy. Chill. Ah! Give me that. Come here, you little salmones. You guys are going to overcook if I leave you in here. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. Balance. Woo! Woo! This is why I can't work in a f kitchen, guys. Oh yeah. Jump those things. Alright, we're gonna plate it nicely this for a YouTube video. So we're gonna use these guys. How do you plate stuff? I don't know. That's hot. That's hot. It's okay. Okay? You wanna take some of this butter garlic and you just wanna... You wanna dress it, you know what I mean? I said some and I did all, so just whatever. There is a lot of oil in the square guy, and I don't think I want that, so... And then you just knock... Oh! Such a chef! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just gonna show it to you when I take you off the tripod. Look at what I just created. Look at, just, just take a, just take a look at it. You see it? I want to get out of the way. I feel like I'm in the way of the light. It's just gorgeous. Oh my, watch, watch this, watch this. Look at the transfer of focus. Asparagus. Wow. I did it. I'm pretty excited. Do I have water in here? Hell yeah, I have water in here. All right, well you have to document. It's time for the taste test. Oh, oh, the salmon. What have I done? It's incredible. Like I'm tooting my own horn, but yo, like I have to toot my own horn, you know what I mean? If you guys could try this right now, the skin's barely even coming off like I was raging about earlier. Mmm! Can someone make a compilation of all the mmms I've ever made in any food video ever? I bet you could make a 10 minute video. Or make a TikTok, I don't know. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Asparagus is fire, no strings, lightly seasoned, a little low salt diet, you know? I also want you guys to know, I stream tonight, so you guys better be on my Twitch stream tonight. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard, Mountain Standard. I'm gonna stream on YouTube, but if you guys love me, you'll go to my Twitch instead. Dude, this is phenomenal. I feel so good after I eat food like this. Like, eating healthy really is, like, you can make eating healthy so good. When, like, vegans say it, I didn't mean to just call out the vegans like that. I'm sorry if you're vegan. When the health freaks say it, you don't believe them. You know what I mean? Because they're so caught up in it. You're like, nah, they just think it's good. But take it from my fat ass, all right? Who loves canes and everything food. You can make healthy food taste really good. And I'm not a vegan, so I think I'm passionate about eating meat. Like it's a sport. Where are all my peskies out? All my pesky terries is for you guys, you know what I mean? You might not eat something that goes moo, but you'll eat this, you know? Oh my God. If I went pescatarian, I would die of like mercury poisoning because I would eat so much salmon. Just I should probably stop talking now, right? All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to eat healthy, and at the same time, like, like I'm trying to up my protein a little because I don't do like protein shakes or anything like that. So I served myself almost a pound of salmon, and I'm probably gonna force myself to eat it. So, so let's just end this baddie out, and I'm gonna be really bloated. Okay.